the uh, And now I'm going to just jump right into, um, oh, I'm sorry, no, I want to put down, So there's that, and then I'm going to come back this back out, and uh, I'm basically tabbed it, shift tabbed it all the way beginning and then backspaced it so I could actually put education, like work experience up there. Now, uh, an easier way of doing this would be to simply just highlight this, hit control C, bring it down here, and hit control V, and no, that didn't work right. So control Z, and I guess I'll just alter this here. And we'll, and then bold. So again, I want to put in another bullet. Um, however, though, as you can see, this changed here again, so I need to actually change this back. You can see I had some problems there because it, it kept uh, bumping it up to an 11 point font or from a, to a 14 point font and I want it to be at 11 point font. So now let's see if this works again. Okay, now it looks like it's working. But you can see that even uh, people who have some expertise in using Word in a lot of these programs can have problems as well. So I'm going to say from... And you can see it's actually still in bold. So i got to undo this bold. Now I'm going to come back down and hit the bullet and and so And what he did is I just kept hitting enter and it all came back out to the front. And so uh, software I would put, and basically everyone should do a software. Uh, so let's go 14, bold. And then, um, okay. So of course MS Office 2007, whoops. Um, and then, of course, I hit 
enter again. Now, when you do your software, uh, on my own personal resume, I basically put in a table because um, because of all the work experience and because of the education, I was running out of space on one page. And what a table does is it allows you, to, of course, to put multiple things on a single line. So it's always it's always a good. It's an absolute good. So if you need to, remember to put a table in. And to put a table in, all you'd have to do is um, come to insert, and they actually have a table here somewhere. Table. So I could put in a table. So if I wanted four items by three lines like that, I could put in a table. And then you can see that I could put in MS Office. Plus, you can also adjust how you want your table to look just by using any of these borders. Um, and even if you don't want any borders, you can always just put no border. Well, I, of course, I do need to select the whole thing. And so if I wanted to, I could put no border. And of course, there would be no border. Now, if you need to go from cell to cell, it's simply the tab key. OK. So, so uh, you can put borders in. Um, you can take borders out. Um, Basically, what I would do is I would tell you to put borders in until uh, you're done. And then if you want to take the borders out, you can take the borders out. So that's basically a table. And I'm going to delete the table now. So, whoops. Well, I can't get rid of that table now. There we go. So I just use the eraser to erase it. Um, so now, uh, basically, references, and generally with references, you know, it's references available upon request. Okay. And so then we're basically done with a simple resume. And that's all there really is to it. Remember, everything should be in a bulleted list because uh, resumes are to be scanned. That's what they do with them. In fact, lots of times nowadays, they don't even scan them. They just do a search, like a Google search on resumes for certain key terms. And then they look at your resume. So a couple of things you can do is just make sure that you know the terminology of the field you're ge getting into, what those terms that where you're being hired they're looking for. So for example, I applied for a job. Um, let's say at a university in the south, and they had special their own I, their own terminology for basically the same for different terms that we use in the field of education. So um, they c even within a field, they different areas can have their own terminology. So you want to make sure that you have the terms that they would be looking for in your resume because they are going to do a search. Okay. Now you can also italicize and bold. So if I was looking for a position in written communications, I may want to put that one in bold. Or if I was doing one in fractions, I may want to bold. Whatever you want to stand out, you should put in bold. So if I'm going for a job like for that's important for that, I can put that in bold. Um, so just remember that. Uh, so like office, I might want to put in bold and so on. So you get the idea. And you can see how it looks. I think it looks OK. It's not the greatest, of course, resume because we just did it in a little while. So. Uh, thanks for coming to learningengineer.com and